Hey, yo, what's going on? Hey, this your man, Big Holy. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, today, we're going to be pressing a barber's cape. And uh, we're going to put a logo on there uh, for my man, Rip. Rip's Barbershop located right here in Panama City, Florida. Uh, last week, Lino's launched on uh, Lino's.com. The clothing brand launched, you know what I mean? We got all the hats on there, all the different shirts on there. We got some jewelry on there as well. Uh, so log on to it, www.lenos.com. And also, if you don't mind, hit subscribe to this uh, to my channel and also to uh, get the notifications that whenever I do put up new uh, content and new videos, you'll also get to know about that firsthand as well. Okay, so the uh, logo has already been cut out. Rips Barbershop. And we also, and we also going to put the drip on it as well. And we're going to press it on, on this barber's cape, right? And it's a uh, 210T polyester. So this is the first time that I've pressed on polyester. Uh, with all the research that I've done, you know, looked up online, a few different sites, looked at Caesar website as well, because we'll be pressing uh, Caesar vinyl on uh, the Easy Weed uh, white. Um, Everything that I found online as far as what temperature uh, to press on this polyester is anywhere between 275 and 300. But everything is definitely below 300 on the temperature and uh, 10 to 12 seconds on the press at a medium pressure. So it's going to be a first, you know what I'm saying, first time for me. I'm definitely going to try not to mess it up. But uh, we're going to put the logo on the uh, Barber's Cape. And uh, how this came about is that last week when Lino's launched, that uh, we did a drawing of everyone that's purchased prior to the launch and also on launch date. We did a drawing. We put everybody's name in a hat and we pulled a hat out for a $50 uh, gift certificate to be able to shop at Lino's. And, my, and uh, my guy Rip's name was drawn, so he came up with the concept, you know what I'm saying, that he wanted to uh, have a, a barber's cape with his name and with his logo on it and with the drip on it as well. So that's kind of the background story of how all this came about as far as uh, pressing a, a barber's cape. But like I said, first time pressing on polyester, and uh, we're going to see what it is, we're going to see what it go like. And uh, hey, with that being said, man, let's press it up, man, let's go. Uh, yeah, so we got the cape already. Uh, a couple things that I already did to kind of get ready for it. Like I said, did some background research on pressing polyester and uh, heat settings and pressure settings and temperature and stuff like that. Uh, so this is the cape. Boom. And also, the logo that's already been designed and already been cut out. Six and one F two C, six and one combo. Uh, the temperature setting, like I said, they said from my research, from what I found, is anywhere between two hundred and seventy five to three hundred degrees. Um, Ten to twelve seconds on a medium pressure. So we're gonna set the temperature at two seventy five. It's set at three hundred five right now. So we're gonna bring that down to at least 275. All right, it said at 275. I know, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see with the lighting and everything, how the camera is, but it said on 275, we'll hit set, boom. And for the time, we'll bring it down to 10 seconds. It's on 12 now, so we'll bring it down to 10. And uh, boom, so the press is heating up now. It's at 108. Uh, 109, 110, uh, so we'll let that heat up. And uh, one other thing that, that uh, one other thing that I'd already done as well was put the center line on the cape. I don't know if you can see that either. But okay, yeah, 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 put the center line on the cape just to kind of help me get it lined up and everything. So, let's try to get it lined up on the press. All right, 
Got a lady fancy coming in right now. She the one that did the logo. She uh, cut the design out and everything. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to Lady Fancy. That's what it is. We'll get on camera one day. And she'll kind of take you guys through her workstation. You know what I mean? She's into the, uh, uh, like, personalizing the journals and, and doing mirrors. You know what I mean? You know, stuff like that. She takes care of the jewelry side of the business. The, uh, she makes sure that the, uh, the uh, what I'm trying to say, the orders, the inventory is, is, is kept up to date and everything. So, big shout out to Lady Fancy as well. All right, so... Look like I got the center point that's lined up right now on the cape and it's lined up on the press as well. I use this center bar that's on the press as a good center point and, look, and it looks like everything is straight and lined up and uh, it's going to be a little bit more than just three fingers off the collar because it's a, a barber's cape and uh, so it'll be down just a little bit lower than tradition or the uh, standard regulation when you're pressing a shirt okay that looks straight alright let's try to set the logo on it you know just kind of half the logo right here or the design, I keep saying logo. Kind of had the design to make sure I got the design set, sitting right. Like that. I still may be able to use my ruler. All right, let's see what it looks like. Off this crease. Six inches and a little high on this side. I just bring it down a little bit. All right, boom, let's try it again. All right, five and seven eighths. I hear the press is starting to click, so that means it's at 270 or 275. It's holding 275. Um, just started doing the present thing, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just launched a business uh, last week. And one of the things that I am learning in pressing these shirts and everything that getting it lined up and making sure it's straight on the shirt is one of the kind of one of the most challenging things, right? The uh, the cameo, the uh, learning curve on the silhouette cameo. That was, a, you know, some kind of a challenge. But as far as lining this stuff up on the uh, on the substrate itself, it's a real challenge, man. So just bear with me for a few seconds.
All right, so it look like it's pretty straight. Sound like they end up building a house, don't it? <laughs> I'm working like a surgeon right now. <laughs> I definitely don't want to mess this up. I think I'm going to put parchment paper on it also. Here we go, let's press it out. Six, five, four, three. All right, let's see what happens. Look like it's on. You got carrier paper. It's coming off. Doesn't look like the the cape itself has been damaged or been burnt. Uh, so so far so good. It looks like the design did adhere to the to the cape. Uh, looks good. Right, so what I'm going to do is just to lock it in as well. I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover with parchment paper again, and I'm going to press it again just to lock it in. So far, so good. Okay guys, there it is, first barbershop cape, and first polyester that's been pressed, looks good, uh, we're also going to put the logo on it as well. All right, so the main design, it went on, pressing uh, 210T polyester. Uh, main design went on. Now we're going to put the drip on, Lino's logo. So let's get that lined up. And we're going to put it on the bottom right side of the cape. So when people sitting in the barber's chair and he got that cape on, that logo gonna be coming through the 
people that's over there sitting down waiting to get in their hair cut. They're going to they gonna ask you, man, what's that drip? What's that logo all about? Then my man can start telling them about Linos.com. That's what it is. Check it out. www.linos.com. That's what's up. <laughs> all right, so let's get the logo lined up. Okay, right, so here's the big reveal. This is my man, this is my son, Mississippi Valley State University. What's up, everybody? Freshman starter, president of the SWAX Act, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. You gotta be smart to do that, man. <laughs> but here we go, here's the big reveal. Okay, so these cats gonna be coming in Real's Barbershop, and you're gonna pop the cape on like this right here. Boom. Just like that. There it is. First uh, press on polyester, Rev's Barbershop. And the logo on the cape as well. All right, so that was the first polyester that I had the opportunity to press. Again, big shout out to my man Rip. He was our $50 uh, gift certificate winner that was drawn out of a hat. Um, like I said a few minutes ago, there were everyone that had purchased from Lino's was, was, was uh, put in a hat for the $50 drawing uh, when the business launched uh, on last Friday. So my man won it. So that's what he wanted to customize. Rips Barbershop right here in Panama City, Florida. Appreciate your support. And uh, listen, this has been your man, Big Holy. But also don't forget, go check out www.lenos.com for all the freshest gear. All the uh, hats, t-shirts, men's, women's jewelry. Uh, so yeah, check us out, www.lenos.com. And also, if, you know what I'm saying, if you like it, take a few minutes to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button as well. Hey, listen, appreciate you guys for tuning in. We pressed uh, first polyester, Rips Barbershop. Hey, appreciate you, but you already know. Until then, let's go!